Welcome back to the Tackle Cave Fishing Freaks. We're gonna do a little crappie dangling today. Well, I'm feeling a catch and cook coming on, baby. And we're gonna try a new technique with the crispy. We'll get into that here in just a minute. Uh, today's video brought to you by the new Tasty Tube and the crispy, the golden crispy batter, baby, it's coming. We're here. Try the Tasty Tubes. You must try the golden crispy batter. It is amazing. I recommend the spicy, but if you're original kind of person, I'm not gonna judge. That's great too. Also, don't forget about the saucy slimmer. All right, this is a swim bait that has been tapered down from the, the saucy swimmer with that, that has that big, sexy, wide action. This is more of a tight wiggle and it seeks it hunts on a jig head or a weighted hook. It's amazing. So try it out for bass. Great cold water winter action, uh, uh, just cold water temp action on that swim bait. When you go get these things at googansquad.com, link down below. Don't forget to use that promo code LFG at checkout. Go ahead and get your, your springtime tackle set up. Use promo code all at once. You know what to do. I'm also very pumped because something awesome happened this morning. I was reading tackle here in here the other night. I was getting, I was doing little crappie jigs and, and little things like that. And then I heard a scuffling. I heard a scuffling and I've been seeing this. We all know what this is. It's not what you want to see in your garage or in your house or anything. It is the remnants of a rat. A squirrel sized rat came running across my feet and I quickly grabbed the BB gun. I was on a hunt to try to get this baby, but it was up in the ceiling. It was, it was, it was crawling around. It was sneaky. This thing avoided two of my glue traps, got caught in it, got out, and then snapped one of the regular traps off. But I came back. I came back with a serious trap, the old box trap that has worked for me before. And I don't know if you guys can see up in here. Oh, let's get a, let's get a look. I see a tail. I see a tail back in there, and that means we got one. We got a rat that is, wow, that thing is huge. Ew. Yeah. He's kind of cute. Kind of cute? <laughs> He's kind of cute. Really? You want to keep him as a pet? He's so cute. He's not as, like, I was imagining, like, a, one of those rats from, um, what's that movie with the Rat King? Oh, yeah. You wanted him to have, like, a mustache and... <laughs> I thought he was Talk gonna like be a New like, Yorker. <laughs> what? Yeah, I thought he was gonna be like the Mob Squad. <laughs> yeah, he actually has a nice, pretty little coat, but uh, I assure you. Ew! But the tail, I can't. Do the look tail. at how long the tail is. Oh, that yeah. tail is gross and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so cute. It's not cute, then. Let the coyotes clean Ooh, him up. Him. See ya, buddy. Who? Major distance on that one. The rat has been eliminated, and the wife knows. I have, I have gone out and slain the beast, and that earns me brownie points. Quick little project before we head out to the water. I need a rod tip replacement, probably so. Got a chipped guide. So I'm, I'm gonna be taking out a, uh, a 10 and a 12 foot, and then just take a standard seven out, because I wanna do some, I wanna do some floater fishing. When I went out the other day, I totally missed the boat on floaters. It was so difficult to look at the fish in the, in the back of the boat with the electronics and then go up front. I was basically like straddling in the boat, going back to, back to uh, electronics and up front with the trolling motor. So I am just going to switch it up with the crispy today. We're going to experiment and we're going to try to effectively catch suspended crappie that are, you know, pre-spawn for the next month or so. I'm gonna heat this up right here. Don't breathe this in, guys. Don't breathe it in. Not healthy for you. This is an old prototype rod. There's nothing wrong with this rod. I could fish with it, but it's kind of just sitting up here collecting dust. It was, it was an action that we were trying to get right on a rod and it wasn't quite right. It's nearly identical. That's perfect. Now I'm just going to take a little bow and arrow hot meld. This is just a quick way to replace it, guys. You could go all out with doing the, uh, the wrappings and everything. It's just a quick, quick little replacement here. 
that up real quick. Hot meld. Line it up. That'll keep us in the game. We made it to the lake. Here comes that breeze. 20 mile an hour wind, of course. We are gonna be up in a creek today and that should help us out. I switched out uh, a mounting plate up here to put a seat and I have a little extender. So I'm gonna be Bill Dance. Shout out to the legend, BD. Sitting up here in the seat, hopefully slinging in bigs. And we're going big poles, boys. Most of the big poles, I brought a standard size pole and a bass pole just in case things get a little Western. But the biggest thing is we're gonna be moving our system from back here up here. And then I'll be able to, with my left hand, do some scoping with my right hand, do some jigging, and hopefully we find some biggins. This is the time for big crappies. But I just wanna catch some anyways, so put some in my mouth, so let's go do that. Here's the deal, boys. We got these warmer, milky waters back here in this creek. The water was, you know, 51 at the ramp. We're sitting at 50.5 right now. These crappie, they're gonna start staging in these creeks in February. They spawn before bass do. But what is interesting about these last, well, week and a half really in Texas is it's been warm. Like even our nights are warm. Last night was in the 50s. And usually in March, when I see the first night in the 50s, like I am at the lake the next day. Because everything is gonna be kind of pushing up. But my hunch is telling me we're, we're still gonna have fish that are more at the mouth of the creeks rather than like midway and then obviously going all the way back. I think that's probably where the fish are gonna stage first. All right, now to get things situated here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this arm out of this bracket. I'm going to take off the back transducer. All right. Just take that out of there, pull that right out. Our buddy right here and then we'll stick this over the side slide that in this little mount here we'll tighten it up and we're not done yet full comfort mode welcome to the show Hooked up, boys. Hooked up, first fish off tree. Oh gosh, it's a large mouth. Oh gosh, here he goes. Oh, he's jumping behind the boat. There we go, there's a runner. On the tasty tube. Oh gosh, it's a good bass. A little high suspendo. fight. I'm going to chase him around here. Goodness. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Look at you, red lip. Good. Yo, red lip. Good. And I thought you were a giant crappie. Gosh, look at that one there. <laughs> that was a fun ride. Let's unhook this guy here. God, that little hook, man. That little hook just gets him. Pretty amazing. <sighs> 
tasty tuber not the species that we're looking for but always a fun one let him go oh gosh see you buddy just made my way back into a little creek and i, I noticed one fish on a tree looked like a big crappie stuck it up there and that mm, it was a little more aggressive than a crappie just rigged up a uh, new pole 10 footer pole the 16th ounce that little Guggen green head with that electric chicken it's a beautiful looking little combo just lightly sank it in there kept it around the tree and that fish circled around the tree and went <coughs> never gonna complain about catching a bass they're always fun all right boys got ourselves our first suspendo crappie and it is a tasty one come here buddy tasty too there we go now that is a good in there that's just the kind of that's the lone female right there I can almost guarantee you that's a theme she's getting ready she's back here in this little creek just warming up Add it to the chain of crispies. Get a few of those, we'll be set. Biggin' on a treetop. Gosh, he came out and just tattooed it, man. God. There's another one in there too. I think she was the biggest one though. Golly, look at this one. Got a lipper, she's so big, dad go. Oh, Just got it in the vicinity and she smacked it, dude. Wah bam. 14 and a half inches. Come and get some, Sally. God, that's only my second bite, but both the strikes have been awesome. Couple of these, man. A couple more of these, and we are golden. Good, good fish right there. Bites are few and far between, y'all. But when I, when I come up on one, and she's hungry, they're big they're big man that just keeps me keeps me in the game excited because one of my big freshwater goals is to catch a crappie over three pounds and i've come fairly close you know a little over two and a half or so but not that three i started in the back of this creek and that's where i caught my first fish and i'm just working my way out you know, they're not primed yet. They're not really coming in good, but these ones that, that are just kind of suspended on these trees, the first one was suspended over nothing. Just kind of warming up. They are good ones. They are good ones. I haven't, I'm not looking for any big wads. I haven't seen any big wads, but this system is working out good right here with the, the bill dance chair. Got the pole right here to my side, working with my left hand looking at the scope here and then fishing with my right hand and having that long rod actually it helps with this like on that fish i started out on the left side of the boat the boat started drifting this boat drifts really quick so i was able to like just move my rod over to the right keep it on the fish where it was interested and it came out and smacked it it wasn't like the normal crappie where you just got to put it on on its nose i just I had to put it in, on this branch and she came out and boop, smoked it, man. Love catching big crappie, it's so much fun. Just out here build dancing it, uh, you know, looking for old big. Yeah, we got a suspender right here. Perfect. 
Perfect. Oh yeah, fish sees it, wants it. Got him. That's a good one. Oh, just suspended in the middle of nowhere. Oh, you're all big. I love you. God, I love you so much. That one was like textbook. Just middle of nowhere. Floated it over there perfectly. And she just I choked it. Tasty tube, man. They are now available. Oh, yeah. Two more of these babies. We're going to be eating good. All right, we're going to have to put you on here. We're going to have to put you on. Got one kind of close to the bottom here. Still suspended. Just got to get it, get it in front of it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Open water, suspended crappie, tasty tube. Let's do this. Sees it. Got him. Oh, yeah. Come here, baby. Not a giant, but we'll add it. Add it to the stringer. Okay, got one perfectly located right in front of this tree. Gonna send it. See what happens here. Oh, this fish already sees it. Oh, I cannot believe that didn't happen. For sure, suspended crappie is just not wanting to play ball. Got him. I had to give him that shake, little buddy. That's why you didn't want to eat, because you're too small. Don't want you. That shake is definitely a thing, guys. Like, I'm not bumping the bait up and down. I'm literally just shaking it like this and their fins just go crazy. It's like they just can't handle it. Got a big one located. Let's make our approach. It's a big, it's a big. There's two of them. Oh, this one wants it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How did it not eat? How did it not eat? I came up to it like it was going to scream on it. I'm going to follow this one. This is a big one. Oh, come on. 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 Uh, going to the 12 footer. Fish are spooky. These two big ones are being ghosts. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to change my bait. We're gonna go with toxic waste. A little chartreuse in black color. Sneaky. Gotta be quiet. Crappie are kind of interesting, you know, to watch them on uh, live scope because. Sometimes you'll see them like they'll they'll move they'll move because your bait or something like that. You spook them. They'll move off like 10 feet, 20 feet, and then they'll just sit there again. So it's just different. It's just different than other fish. I love them so much. Love to smell them. Love to eat them. Just love everything about them. Sixteenth ounce. I, I should probably go a little bit lighter to be honest with you. They're so spooky, but we're gonna give it a whirl. Sitting at the top of a tree, right over here. There's one of them. Don't see the other one. Oh god, oh god, oh 
gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, eat it, oh gosh, oh gosh. They're like actively moving off now two times. They just charged at my bait. I actually thought it was going to eat it. I set the hook just thinking, oh, it's got to have it. It charged at it so hard. 49 degree water. It's definitely cooler than it was back there. They're still out here though. There might be something about them when they're in pairs, when they're together, it's not a, not as good. They might talk to each other, you know, tell each other it's a bad idea. Come on, baby. Got him. Little buddy. Just had to get one. There's another one up here that's a little juicier. Got him. There we go. A little better. Little males. What's going on here? I don't want, actually, don't. I don't want you. I need one more big theme. Come on, baby. Be a good one. Oh my gosh, it just came and tattooed it. Sat there for a second and then said, I need it. You're not big. I need big. This could be a good one right here at the base of this tree. Got him. That's a good one. Better one. Come here. Get on my stringer, buddy. Yeah. Seems like all the better ones have been, well, not all of them. Some of them have been right on wood and some of them are just plain in open water. Look at these. Yes, sir. You know how we do. Catch them, eat them, and repeat. down there and attract some some of your friends for me okay looks like we got a juicy one here it's right on the end of a log these bigger ones are just tricky it's going up to the base of this tree now just gonna get my bait right at the base of this tree it's just nosing on it got him oh god i missed him i missed him i missed him Oh no, it's that shake, it's the shake of the rod. It's like there's more in here now than when I started. Not a giant, but I'll take him. Take a bite. Oh, those little ones are not hard to convince, I'll tell you that. Let them go, let them grow. Well, the day is winding down. It's about time to head in. But we got a great stringer of crappies right here. Timber crappies, man. Timber and suspenders. Look at these babies. One of those is an absolute whopper. Wow, bam. Those are gonna eat good. So if you guys wanna pick up the Tasty Tubes, they are available now. Go check them out. GuggenSquad.com, use my promo code LFG. Do some crappie dangling. 
And don't forget about Golden Crispy Batter. It's available now. Go check it out. Link in the description, guys. Thank you for tuning in today for catching Golden Crispies in the Crispy Collector. Can't get better than that, guys. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.